Hi, kids. How are you? I'm Brian, and we are on part two of seeds. Seeds. Do you remember? C C in Korean. So in part one, we learned about how seeds travel, how seeds move from one place to another. We learned that wind blows the seeds. Some seeds. To different places, some seeds have parachutes. Some seeds have wings. Well, that's one way that seeds travel. What's another way? Another way is by birds. Birds and seeds. What do we see here? We see a bird eating some fruit. What's inside the fruit? There are seeds inside the fruit, the berry. Here is another bird, and it's eating the seeds. What will happen to the fruit and the seeds? The birds will eat them, right? And then the birds will fly somewhere else, and they'll go to the bathroom. Dunghill, <laughs> and that's how the seeds travel. The seeds will be in the dung. Okay, let's read. Many birds eat seeds. They eat fruit too. This bird is eating seeds. This bird is eating fruit. Often the seeds are inside the fruit. The seeds come out with the bird's. Droppings, right? Dung, <laughs> dunghill, right? They go to the bathroom, huajangshil kyle. But birds don't use huajangshil; they just go anywhere. Sometimes on your sh shoulder or your head. Oh, joshim hail. Okay, but some of the seeds inside the dung grow into new plants. That's interesting. That's how some seeds travel to other places. They're in the fruit, or the birds eat the seeds directly. Did you know about this? What is this here? This looks like chocolate. Chocolate bar. Mmm, masisoyo. Do you know where chocolate comes from? The seed of a cacao tree. Is called a bean. Okay, a bean, and that's where chocolate comes from. People use the beans to make chocolate. So a cacao tree, probably in South America, has beans that grow on it. Do you like beans? Some people like beans. Some people don't like beans. But chocolate is made from a bean. That grows on a cacao tree, but if you take the bean, does it taste like chocolate? No, it's ugh, it's very bitter, soyo, right? So、uh, you have to put a lot of sugar in chocolate. So be careful. Don't eat a lot of chocolate. It has a lot of sugar. Okay. Let's see here. The birds. This is another picture here. Birds carry seeds to new places. Okay, he's carrying the seeds and the fruit, and this is a bird eating sunflower seeds. So here again, we have the two pictures of the birds eating the seeds. They will fly to another place, the dunghill, and inside the bird droppings, the seeds might grow into new plants.、Hmm, interesting. Okay, let's continue. This, by the way, is the cacao tree beans. These are the beans, and this is the cocoa powder. Cocoa powder that people will make to make chocolate or hot choco. Don't say hot choco. Say hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Mmm, masisoyo, right? Especially in the winter. Well, let's continue. Now we heard about birds and seeds. Are birds the only animals that spread seeds by eating them and then later dropping them? No, 
animals also will eat seeds. What do we see here? This is a squirrel. And what is the squirrel doing? The squirrel has a nut. Do you remember the squirrel who puts the nuts in its cheeks and gets really big cheeks and then runs home and keeps the nuts in its home for the winter time, right? Well, the squirrel will move the seeds to many different places. Let's read. <clears throat> Animals other than birds. Animals other than birds eat seeds too. Birds aren't the only animals. Other animals eat seeds too. They also carry seeds, carry kachikayo, right, to new places. Some seeds have little hooks, a hook, like a fish hook. Did you know that? The hooks stick to the animal's fur. Oh, that's very interesting. The hook will catch onto the fur of the animal and it will stick. Later, the seeds fall to the ground and grow in another place. When you walk in the forest or in a field, when you finish, look at your socks. Your socks might have little round things stuck to your socks or to your pants. Those are seeds. And those seeds have little hooks on them that catch onto your clothes. Can we use that? Is that something that maybe we could use for our lives? Did you know, in 1948, a long time ago, a man saw some seeds stuck to his dog's fur. So he found some seeds on his dog. He took a close look. Oh, very close look. He looked at them very, very closely. The seeds had tiny hooks. He had an idea. Bing! I have an idea. He made tape with little hooks. So he got some tape and he put hooks on the tape. Then he made another piece of tape, but this tape has loops. Okay? A loop is like this. So the tape has loops and the other tape has hooks. Hook, hook. Now, what will happen if you stick the two tapes together? What do you think will happen? Well, the hooks, the two pieces stuck together. The hooks catch onto the loops. The hooks will catch onto the loops. The two pieces stuck together. Do you know what his invention is called? You maybe use it every day. His invention is called Velcro. You know Velcro. You have it on, some people have it on their tennis shoes, right? Your tennis shoes, it makes a sound when you open it up. And you close it and it sticks again. You open it up and you close it again. You use it on your tennis shoes on your backpack, on, the, uh, on your coat to close the front of your coat or to make the sleeves on your coat tight. We use Velcro a lot, especially in clothing, but also in backpacks and other things. So Velcro is very useful. That's interesting. This man got the idea from nature. Look around. Maybe you will get an idea like this from nature. Hmm, chemi soil. Okay. Let's take a look at our friend, the squirrel. The squirrel has a nut. Maybe it's an acorn. Acorns are the seeds of oak trees. Squirrels eat acorns. They store acorns in new places too. 
So squirrels eat the acorns. They also carry the acorns to new places. Before we talked about the seeds with hooks, look at this. That's very interesting. Of course, this seed is very big. Now, usually seeds are very small. Whew, that looks dangerous. Musawile, right? But don't worry. These seeds are really very small. But they have hooks. They look very sharp, right? Joshimeo. But they're so small, they don't hurt you. They just stick to your clothes and to your dog. Now, animals carry seeds. Birds carry seeds. Squirrels carry seeds. Dogs and animals with fur carry seeds. But what about water? Water also carries seeds. Let's look here. We can see this is the ocean. What kind of seed is this? Do you know what this is? That's a coconut. And inside the coconut is a seed. Some seeds travel to new places in water. Rivers carry seeds. Oceans carry seeds. This is a river or ocean. It's an ocean, right? And it can carry seeds. When the seeds reach land, when they come to land, the new plants begin to grow. They start to grow as new plants. Did you know? What is this here? This is a type of a coco de men. The nut of the coco de men palm tree is the biggest seed in the world. It can weigh up to 50 pounds. 50 pounds? That's like 20 kilograms. Eship kilogram. Oh, that's really heavy. And that's the seed. Only the seed. Normally, seeds are very small. But the seed of the coco de men palm tree is the biggest seed in the world. It's very heavy. Wow. Chamisayo. Okay. Let's look some more here. We saw this before. Coconuts are seeds. They can float for hundreds of miles. Many, many kilometers. Hundreds of kilometers. Coconuts can float in the ocean. Here we can see a coconut floating for a long time. It reached the land, and now what's happening? What's this here? It's growing a new coconut tree, a new palm tree. Palm tree is grown from coconuts. So a new palm tree will grow right here from the coconut. That's interesting. Also, mangrove. Mangrove seeds float in water. This is a mangrove tree. When they reach shore, they grow into mangrove trees. Mangrove trees grow in the ocean next to the land. They're very important. They help protect the land from the water moving back and forth. Mangrove trees are very important. So this is how they travel. So we saw many different ways that seeds travel. Birds will eat them and go to another place and, and make droppings. Animals will carry seeds to other places. And water carries seeds to different places too. So we've reached the end of part two. Let's find out some more about seeds in part three. I'll see you in part three. Goodbye for now.